Hey people, it's me again. So, anyways, um, as far as with um, that whole series, queer kid stuff, as far as that goes, and I had talked about it a, a while ago about the whole web series, you know. And honestly, I think it's just that kids just don't really need to learn about that kind of stuff until they reach middle school, not like when they're in preschool or something like that because as far as that goes when I was like in preschool and all that the things that I really learned about was just um colors and shapes and the letters and numbers and then the basic uh you know, math, you know, like addition and subtraction and all that kind of stuff. But other than that, that's just really what it was that I learned at the time. So, anyways, as far as that goes, you know, the latest thing that they have was about Islam. And this is just one of those things that just simply perplexed me as far as when it comes to the far left. Is that why do they seem to ident align themselves with Islam, even like uh, fundamentalist Islam, when it's a religion that is basically is incompatible with their ideals, and especially when it comes to these feminists these days, you know, why do they seem to align themselves with a religion that just nothing. That just wants nothing more to have them be, be uh, treated as cattle, you know. As far as that goes, it, it it just seems to bewilder me about this double thing that the far left could be, you know. So, anyways, I'm gonna be slightly going off tangent here, you know. But it was this other story that um, that Tim Pool had talked about on his channel about that that one shooting with that guy who who went to a school where his daughter went and he was having a, a custody battle with his ex-wife and wouldn't leave, and then he had drawed a gun on one of the security guards, and then when the police showed up, he also had drawn a gun on them, and then the police had shot and killed him, you know, and he was wearing this sort of, uh, shirt that said, smash the patriarchy and chill, you know, that whole far leftist kind of ideology that these people do, in in some ways, I just find it strange how that the only thing people on the far left and the far right have in common is they're so anti-government. You know, as far as that goes, these stereotypical far right conservatives who are like the, the, uh, what you might call it, like those sovereign citizens, brigades, or those kind of crazy people like that you know and then we have these other people that are just as weird on the far left you know and it's just one of those things that I said many times before that I, I can't stand people that are far left or far right as far as that goes but mainly it's just people who are authoritarian you know they're the bane of my existence as far as that goes because I consider myself to be libertarian but yet the whole definition of what is libertarian has been uh, gratefully subjective you know because then we have these people who who call themselves libertarian and want the government to go away simply because they just don't like paying taxes or having to pay for everything at that point, you know, to pay for the roads, pay for the police, pay for the public schools and electricity and all this, you know, 
they want to privatize everything. I never really could understand why people that call themselves libertarian want to have everything privatized or something like that and then have have that have uh, government be taken over by corporations and stuff. That's just really more or less fascism in that regard. You know, as far as that goes. But, I mean, those were just simply, like, anarcho-fascists of that sort. Just as much as there were also these people, like that guy again, who was possibly an anarcho-communist or something like that. You know, anarcho-communist, anarcho-Marxist, or, or whatever it's usually called on, on the left. You know, that they're anarchists, but they want to replace it with, with um, communism or Marxism or socialism of that sort. And it's just, it is just a huge cognitive dissonance of that sort of they're anarchists, but you have one, communism to replace the government structure or fascism or Marxism or nationalism or whatever it is that is that is just as equally authoritarian of that sort. You know? It's just oxymoronic, contradictory, whatever of that sort. You know what I mean? But one of the things I was going to mention here is that when it comes to this sort of thing, you know, like the whole queer kid stuff and all that, that are we going to have these people end up growing up, all these kids growing up to be completely anti-gay simply because of all of that, you know? You know what I mean? It's one of the things that, um, I, I keep forgetting to mention this in a video at one time. It was about a few years ago when, uh, Obama was president and Michelle Obama had that healthy lunch option or whatever it was, the healthy lunch initiative, and then where she was limiting how many kids could have their pizzas and stuff like that or whatever it was. And it was some sort of joke that I think was, it was Jay Leno that made that sort of stuff that, that those kids are going to grow up to be Republicans. And in the same vein, it was that cartoonist Daryl Cagle had uh, mentioned that, you know, on one of his cartoons that, that, the healthy lunch initiative like that will make these kids grow up to be conservative for that matter you know and so especially how they had that whole vi that whole viral video about back in 2013 you know where they had that song was tonight we're hungry because there was this limit on the calorie intake and they needed to have more than the standard for that because they were athletes and all that you know and and then they end up voting for Trump, just to spite Obama. You know what I mean? So, anyways, it's just one of the things here, you know, that I just wish that that uh, that we can go more towards the center and not go so far to the left at this point, because the more further we go left, the more there's going to be a reactionary thing from the right. You know what I mean? So, anyways, um, talk to you guys later.